today I am in my kitchen and we are going to be making some delicious fall treats. I am really excited because I love food and who doesn't love food? You can serve these at a party, a sleepover, or just eat them while you're binge watching Netflix. So without further ado, let's just get right in to the video. Okay, so for our first treat, you are going to need a pan, some square pretzels, some chocolate chips, you can do dark, milk, white, doesn't matter, I prefer milk, and some mini marshmallows. Okay, so first we're going to take our square pretzels and just place them on the pan. Okay, so when we're done with our little square pretzels, <clears throat> we're just going to take our mini marshmallows and place one in the middle of each pretzel. Okay, so then you're just going to take your chocolate chips and put one or two, depending on the size, next to the marshmallow on the pretzel. Okay, so after that, you have all of your little pretzels, and I don't want to tip this because it's going to fall, but um, your pretzel and marshmallows. And then what you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and, and then bake them in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, so then I melted up my chocolate in the microwave and then just started dipping part of the apple into the chocolate, letting some excess drip off, and then dipping them into my toppings. Lastly, I just put them in the refrigerator so that the chocolate would harden and enjoyed. Okay, so the last treat that we're going to be making is a pumpkin spice white chocolate hot chocolate. So what you're going to need to make this is some whipped cream, I got the extra creamy, some cinnamon to put on the top, and then you're also going to need a half a cup of pumpkin spice creamer. I'm using the uh, Nestle Coffee Mate. A half a cup of white chocolate chips. And then three cups of milk. I'm using whole milk. So I just made a double broiler on the stove and melted my white chocolate in there and stirred with a spatula until it was fully melted. Then I just added my three cups of whole milk, stirred, and then added my pumpkin spice creamer, stirred, and it was ready to serve. And lastly, I added some whipped cream and some cinnamon to make it look all purdy and Pinteresty. And if you're wondering, I did get this um, recipe off of Pinterest, so thank you to Pinterest for the inspiration. And let me tell you guys this, it was delicious. You should definitely try to make this. What did you do? What, what's going on here? It wasn't secure. Uh -uh. What else? 
Shows, how many shows are back? What else? The weather in fall is so nice. It's like a 